and today we're taking a look at how to smoke a full chicken. And this is so easy, anybody could do it. And that's why we're gonna do two full chickens. And you can easily make this in three to four hours. One, we're gonna do with our barbecue rub. If you're interested on the recipe for the barbecue rub, we're gonna leave a link for the video on the description. And for our second chicken, we're gonna do a herb sauce style seasoning. And for that recipe, we're also gonna leave a link on the description. And the great thing about this herb sauce, it could be used for anything. Even after you have your meat cooked, you can use it for seasoning, you can use it as a dip, you can use it with your meat after cooked, you can even put some on your taco or burrito and everything used on the video we're going to leave a link on the description the first thing that we're going to do is clean up the chicken and we do that by removing the excess fat the excess skin and anything left inside the bird by the butcher now how long you want to season the chicken is all up to you if you want to do it a whole day before or like we're doing today half an hour before and if you count meanwhile the charcoal turns on and you get your barbecue ready and you open some ice cold bubbly bottles of water you'll notice you had your chicken for an hour seasoning and you didn't even notice we may have to attribute that to the sparkling water so the first one we're going to rub with our barbecue rub and we want to get all the spaces inside, outside, in 2D space, 3D space, in the vacuum of space. And when we get to the breast area, we want to make sure that we get it between the skin and the breast. And then when you finish with your time travel, we wanna go ahead and rub it with some mustard. You can use any mustard. In our case, we're gonna use honey mustard. And if you don't like mustard, it's optional. Now we can place on a bag or in a bowl and place it on the refrigerator for the time that you want. Now we're gonna do our second chicken. We already prepped and cleaned this one with the magic of TV, but without the budget, what we're gonna do is take our salt and salt the whole chicken. And don't be scared to use the salt. And when we get to the breast area, we want to make sure that we get it between the skin and the breast. Now that we salted our bird, now we can go ahead and rub our herb sauce seasoning. Now we can place on a bag or in a bowl and place it on the refrigerator for the time that you want. Either half an hour before, an hour, four hours, eight hours, 12 hours, a whole day, or if you want to leave it there for the end of times, don't worry, we don't judge. Now, let's go ahead and turn on our charcoal. We're gonna take our paper and place it under our chimney starter, and then place our charcoal. Then we wanna light the paper in different places to get an equal burn. And if you don't have a chimney starter, you can check out our video, how to turn on charcoal without using starter fluid or a chimney starter. And remember, this works for this type of barbecue grill or for the smaller type. The only difference that it might be, instead of two chickens, you might have to do only one. And if your space is not that big, you could cut the chicken in half. And what we wanna do is wait until all the smoke has gone from the charcoal or when you start seeing fire. Once we see fire on the charcoal, now we can slowly dump the charcoal on your grill. And we're using the 60-40 method, meaning we're only gonna put charcoal on 40% of the side. In our case, 
we're using a basket to hold the charcoal. We notice that it retains the heat and it's easier to clean up. And we did this basket under $11. We'll also leave a link for that video on the description. The wood that we're gonna use today is hickory, but you can use any wood that you like. And if you're using wood chips, remember to soak them in water 45 minutes before. Now on the 60% side, where it's empty, we're gonna place our pans with water. You can also use juice like apple juice or orange juice if you want. If you heat up the water before, it makes it a lot easier to catch up to the temperature. And you can use any types of pan. These we got from the dollar store. But if you want to use throwaway aluminum ones, you can as well. And this is going to create a juicy environment for the chicken. And like that, we'll avoid having dry breast meat. And also make the cleaning a lot better because it's also going to catch any drippings. Now we're going to close the grill for two or three minutes so we can get everything hot in there. If your grill grates are not seasoned, you can take a little bit of oil and paper and rub it on the grill grates. Now we can place the chicken on the side of the pan and that is the side where the top vent is located at. And we want to cook this chicken from 250 degrees Fahrenheit to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we do that by adjusting the vent on the charcoal side. The more open the vent, the more air and is going to create more heat. The closer the vent, the less air, meaning the less heat. If you notice your temperature goes up too high, you can close the vent completely until it cools down and then adjust it until your desired temperature. So the main idea is that the air is going to come in from the vent where the charcoal is at. It's going to push the hot air and also the smoke from the hickory wood towards the chicken and then leave from the vent on the top. After our first hour, we're going to go ahead and flip the chicken. On our second hour, we're gonna flip the chicken and also twist the chicken from the side where the charcoal was originally hidden it to the other side. And this is gonna help the chicken to get an even cook. On our third and final hour, we wanna flip the chicken and also place our thermometer. And the temperature for chicken is 174 degrees Fahrenheit. Once we get to that temperature, that means that we're done. After our third hour, it only took us half an hour to get to that temperature. So the total cooking time was three and a half hours. And we were cooking at around 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means if you go all the way up to 350, you might get three hours. If you go all the way down to 250, you might get four hours. It all depends on the pounds of your chicken and also the temperature. Results may vary. And I think with that disclaimer, we might get TB budget. Now an optional step that we love to do, and especially if you like to have a crisp skin, this is the way to go. Just one to two minutes on each side on top of the charcoal. If it's your first time doing it, then in 30 second increments would be good because depending on how hot your charcoal is, how fast is going to burn. And now you could pat yourself in the back for a job well done. Now get ready to receive those calls from family and friends to light that charcoal up because we're going to celebrate that holiday we just made up a few seconds ago. And remember, don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Remember, you control space. And today we paired this chicken with some white rice, some beans, and some cold slaw. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.